family has come all the way from Michoacán in the southwest of Mexico. They come to meet with their family member. She's their daughter, she's their sister, she's their auntie. They haven't seen her in 13 years. So it's Sunday, and from 10 to 2 o'clock, families come and gather at the border wall here in Friendship Park, Tijuana, Mexico, to be able to come and talk to their family members through the fence. There's basically a no man's land between the US fence and the Mexican fence, and they'll open the US side of the fence so that family members can come up to the Mexican fence to talk to their family members and they talk to each other through the fence they're allowed to step right up to the fence but you can see there's a wire mesh here so they're not allowed to to touch each other except by a pinky kiss these are names of deported veterans written on the border fence deported US Army veterans fence goes all the way down into the ocean. So this is the furthest northwest corner of Mexico and the furthest southwest corner of the United States. They put up this border fence, uh, started building it in 1994 as part of Operation Gatekeeper. You can see a lot of families come together to stare out to the ocean stare out across the United States. So this is actually the first section of border fence that was ever built. It was built during the Clinton administration in 1994 and stretches five miles inland to the San Ysidro border crossing. Uh, before that, it just used to be an open beach and people could uh, walk freely between the two countries. Amigos, me pueden ir contando quiénes son ellos y, y por qué vienen. Y yo voy a ir traduciendo en inglés. Son mis nietos y mi hija. So that's her daughter and her grandchildren. Y, y ustedes de dónde vinieron para visitarlos? Where did you come from to come and visit? Michoacán. They came from Michoacán. Okay. ¿Y hace cuánto que no los ven? Twelve years. They haven't seen each other for twelve years. Yes. How does it feel to see them here today? ¿Cómo se siente de verlos? Really good. Emocionados. Felices porque tenemos muchos niños que no veíamos aquí a nuestras hermanas, nuestros sobrinos. They're very happy to see each other here. ¿Cómo que yo digo? ¡Solteros! ¡Pero los quiero! married right here at the border uh, almost 10 years ago, shortly after Emma was deported. 
she didn't have her papers in order, so she was given a 10-year ban from returning to the US, even though her husband is a US citizen and is also a former Marine. Her three kids were born in the US and they're US citizens. And she now lives in Tijuana. And the family comes to visit them whenever they can, uh, at weekends and during holidays. They drive two or three hours down from Vista, California, uh, across the border to Tijuana, come and spend weekends with their mother. It's been very difficult for them being without their mother, Michael living without his wife. Yeah, claro. So Emma's mother still lives up in the States, and she used to come and visit her here at the wall. But um, she's a little bit afraid now. Emma's sister is a DACA recipient, um, which was just revoked by President Trump. So she's a little bit afraid to come here because there's border patrol. So she's a bit unsure of her legal situation. Entonces, Emma is the co-director of a group called the Dreamer Moms, which helps deported mothers. Um, and basically, it's for, for women who are deported from the USA who are now living in Tijuana and trying to find a way to get back to the States. Han estado reuniéndose aquí, así que estamos reunidos en el mismo espíritu de solidaridad, de amistad y de comunión. Y con nuestras manos en el muro, vamos a tomar un momento de confesión. And with our hands on the wall, we'll do a confession. With our hands on the wall, we recognize that we are separated from each other and we are separated from God. So every Sunday here at Friendship Park, they hold a binational church service and they hold a binational mass uh, through the fence so the families can, can have mass together. There's a proposal here to tear down this part of the fence and build a binational park so that families can, can actually hug and see each other properly and not just greet each other with a pinky kiss. That the love of God is not limited by human failings. I'm John Dickey, and this was shot on Essentials 360 phone.